This is a big deal. Metro Coronavirus Task Force Chair Dr. Alex Jahungir is with us now. Okay, Dr. Jahungir, we've been prepping for Nashville's big reopening, and then we get this news, the mask mandate's expiring tomorrow morning. Take us behind the curtain a little bit. How'd you come about deciding this, and what does this move signal in our fight against the virus? Sure. So, you know, from the very beginning of this, we've always said we're going to let the science drive our decisions. Now, sometimes the science happens to be dropped at two in the afternoon, right before a Board of Health meeting, and it takes us a little time to, to process this. So the CDC, as you mentioned, recommended that anyone that's fully vaccinated um, no longer needs to wear a mask. And so um, after our Board of Health meeting just about an hour ago, um, I met with Dr. Wright and our epidemiologist, and we reviewed the CDC guidelines. And we realized, you know, 43% of our city has, has been vaccinated. And so um, the CDC guidelines say that unvaccinated people should still wear a mask, but there really is no practical way of, of enforcing that. And so um, our recommendations are consistent with the science to um, release the mask mandate. And again, I, my, my strong recommendation to anyone listening is get a vaccine to be protected. And if you're not, or you have concerns, you still have the ability to choose to wear a mask. But that's how the decision came down. Uh, I'm really proud of what Nashville has done. Our um, cases per 100,000 is below nine now, which is the first wow. it's been in a long time. Hospitalizations are down. Um, positivity rate um, is 3%. We're doing really well as a city, and, and I'm really excited that tomorrow starts um, a really new phase that we've all been talking about for a long time. It really is almost surreal. Uh, and it's got to help that the 12 to 15 year olds are now getting vaccinated here in Nashville. How is that going? It's going really well. You know, today, the preliminary numbers I've seen um, at least 850 to 900 um, 12 to 15 year olds have been vaccinated just today. There are 40,000 um, 12 to 15 year olds, just put it in reference. But um, already about 850, 900 have been vaccinated that I'm aware of, and there are probably more that I'm, I'm not aware of. So I'm really excited. It's a great way to protect um, that age range, especially as we start um, finishing school and starting summer camps. So keep going. There's a lot of opportunities. Both um, National Public Health has a lot of opportunities, as do other medical centers, pharmacies, and so on. You know, lastly, we've been hooping and hollering every time we read a story about a new incentive being offered, like in Ohio and Kentucky <laughs> with lottery tickets, a million bucks a week in Ohio. Are there any incentives on the horizon here in Tennessee? Well, you know, we're, we are looking at those unique opportunities. I wish I could say there's a million dollars on, on the line. And, and if Governor Lee's listening and you have it, that would be a great incentive, right? Um, but we're looking at, at certain things. Frankly, the best incentive is knowing you're not going to die. So wow. get a vaccine. Don't have to worry about masks. Um, but but with that being said, we are looking at some clever ways to incentivize people. But um, more to come, I guess. All right. Well, amen to that on the, the incentive. Let, you're not going to die. Yeah, that's what we want to hear. Dr. Alex Jahungir, thanks so much. And if you're just joining us, everybody at home, the big news, Nashville lifting that mask mandate tomorrow, along with all the restrictions, certainly big news. No more masks. Dr. Jahungir, thanks again for all you've done for us.